All right, boys, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Madden 24 gameplay deep dive video that came out yesterday by EA. I'm going to have that kind of going on in the background. I did want to talk about just some general gameplay things. Um, these are the best things that are different, some of the things that aren't good that need to be fixed. Just wanted to kind of give you guys an update about where we're at in Madden 24. And also maybe some general speculation about, based off of the, the, off of the uh, gameplay deep dive video, what the metas might be or what are some of the most effective things that you can be doing in Madden 24. So a couple things real quick right off the bat. Number one, um, I'm excited about Madden 24. I think Madden 24 is going to be a good game. That being said, the overarching thing I want to say, like super straight out in front of everything is, and I believe it is a known issue by EA, they have to fix the button lag that is currently in the Madden 24 beta. That cannot be the case in Madden 24. If they leave it like it is, you will literally be only able to make a maximum of three adjustments on defense. That includes pinching your defensive line or pressing your coverage. The adjustments are really, really bad. Another problem uh, that I believe is also a known issue is when you go to hit a button, let's say like you have a wide open receiver, you try to throw the ball wide open receiver. Um, sometimes they just literally don't throw the ball because for whatever reason, the button doesn't register. That has to get fixed. It literally makes the game unplayable. It's why a lot of content creators, myself included, have pretty much stopped playing the Madden 24 beta, at least head-to-head, -head, and they're mainly either just using it for practice mode or trying to test out some of the different features in CFM or Ultimate Team. To me, that's a big, big miss. Literally, people don't want to play Madden 24 the game because the buttons aren't registering properly. That has to get fixed. That out of the way, really excited about it. You see right here, they're talking about a new blocking system. There is a significantly improved run blocking, especially down the field um, in the run game. Now, that being said, one of the other things I actually think is really cool about Mountain 24 is the AI will actually respond. So let's say, for example, you come out and you run stretch every single play. Um, if you run stretch every single play, then the defense will literally start to adapt to the fact that you're running stretch every play. They'll take better angles, they'll take better pursuit. I like that because that way it's gonna, I think, increase the variety in the run game and make it so that you can't just run the same run over and over again like you could in Madden 20. Um, but I think you are gonna see a better and just more overall improved run game in a lot of different ways. Now, I wouldn't say the run game is gonna be overpowered at least yet. I haven't seen that, I haven't felt that. I feel like if you wanna stop the run, there are still a lot of ways to stop the run but it is better than in previous years. So I think they actually did a really good job uh, with the run game. Hopefully I don't regret saying that um, in a couple of months, but I do like uh, where they're heading with the run game. This quarterback AI, I want to really quickly talk about this. Um, this is more of a CFM thing. In head-to-head, -head, obviously, you're playing the user. The user on the other side is the quarterback, so they're going to be making hot routes and whatnot. Quarterback AI is great um, just in terms of the sim aspect of that, and I think they did a lot of things um in madden this year to make it better for sim and franchise um this obviously is kind of a course correction because last year franchise was obviously a a tragic nightmare this dbs and pass coverage i did want to talk a little bit about pass coverage one of the best features um, is what you're going to see right here, this little catch tackle where the guy drops it. I actually really like that because that's a little bit more realistic. And if, you, if you're if you going to go over the middle and run like a slant post concept, for example, the beauty of this is um, they're going to, if you throw right at a yellow zone, even if that yellow zone doesn't intercept the ball, there is a chance for the catch tackle. I do believe that if you're going to, if they're going to allow us to have KO abilities and mutt, that is also going to be very, very helpful uh, for zone coverage that being said one of the biggest issues in the beta is the deep zones need patched or need fixed and then i also wanted to talk about the playbooks here for a second hats off to the playbook guy on offense there are a lot of positive things that they that they did to improve the offensive playbooks a lot of new formations a lot of new plays um i will say um i wouldn't kind of adjust your expectations a little bit I wouldn't like they said they made like over 70 new formations. I think it was over 500 new offensive play calls. That's technically true. Um, but a lot of what they did was they took like single back bunch nasty and they made it shotgun bunch nasty, or they took uh bunch strong and they made it bunch strong nasty. So, um, that's kind of a little bit about like the playbook. So, they added a, a lot of different things, but honestly, like I wouldn't say there's a 
like the new formations, I would again just adjust your expectations. It there's probably realistically about ten new formations and about sixty formations that were either expanded upon or just added to pistol or bunch or single back. Uh, for example, there was a gun tight doubles. Now there's a single back tight doubles, um, or at least more prevalent that there's a single back tight doubles. So all that's good though. All for that positive change. My biggest issue with the playbooks is they did nothing to defense the playbooks. There's no change to defense playbooks whatsoever. Uh, it's been tested. EA has reported in the gridiron notes that they oh, that they made you know all these adjustments to offensive playbooks. Uh, they they intentionally didn't say defensive playbooks. So to me, that's a big deal because um, in in Matt, especially again, if you take a couple things, adjustments don't work defensively, which is a big deal. And then also uh, the fact that defensive playbooks haven't changed a lot. And if you remember last year, uh, last year you had to make a lot of adjustments in Madden 23 to be able to even have a chance at stopping some of the best offenses in the game. And you can't adjust, so we need new plays that are actually going to help us to be able to stop the meta or fix deep zones. Like all of this is adding up to say it's probably going to be another offensive year, which I don't hate that offense is good. I just would like to see, again, it, 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 one little bitty thing, which, again, obviously it might be a bigger deal to, for them to actually fix this. Um, but one little bitty thing that I would suggest is if they just fix the adjustments, if, that, if that's the one thing that gets fixed between now and the launch of Madden 24, it will significantly improve the defensive side of the ball because now as a player, I actually feel like I have the ability to you know work hard enough um, and to be smart enough to stop my opponent. So I'd like to see, um, I'd really like to see that. Blitzing is still really good. I think blitzing is still going to be the meta. The pass rush is not super good, in my opinion. Um, it's I will say double team splits are really good, so you're going to want to have post-ups. If you don't have post-ups, my personal thing is you can send three and get pretty consistent double team splits like you could in Madden 22. So that seems to be brought back. So you're going to have to have post-ups on your offensive line. If you don't have post-ups on your offensive line, you're going to get shedded a lot up the middle. So just kind of tuck that away for future. Uh, might be some stuff that we're going to talk about um, on the channel with that. Uh, but, you know, pass rush, all, all in all, not better or worse. Maybe a slightly worse, but you can split double teams like you could in Madden 22, Madden 21. So that's a big deal. Um, last thing I want to say about Madden 24 in general, overall, the, I think the biggest improvement is uh, one of the biggest pieces of improvement in Madden 24 is the movement as a whole seems significantly smoother. The catching interactions are really good. I really like how the catching works. Aggressive catching is not overpowered like it was in Madden 23. Rack catching is really effective in Madden 24. Um, I like how your receivers will catch the ball in stride and they'll run after the catch really, really well. There's a lot of things to be excited about with Madden 24. If you guys want to learn how to play Madden 24 at the highest level, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and that's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden 24, as well as a lot of the stuff that we already released for Madden 23 that you can start utilizing to prepare you for the Madden 24 season which is right around the corner just about two months out a lot of really really good stuff coming for our patreon members if you're not in the patreon sign up today for just ten dollars the link is down in the description below